Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about the last program of today's bi-weekly contest, Disconnect Path in Binary Matrix by at most one flip. The problem states that you are given a binary matrix of size m cross n and you can make at most one flip. That is, you can make either 1 to 0 or 0 to 1. Now, you have to make, like you have to say whether by making that flip, if the matrix can be disconnected. Now, how it can be disconnected? Basically, if there is no path from 0, 0, to m minus 1, comma n minus 1, which only follows 1, then you will say the matrix is disconnected. For example, in this particular case, we can see if we change this 1 to 0, there is no path between 0, 0 and m minus 1, comma n minus 1 that is possible by following only once. So you, if you traverse through once, uh, you will not be able to reach uh, the bottom right cell from the top left cell. And hence, uh, we return true here because there is a possibility to flip a bit and make the uh, make the cells disconnected, right? Uh, whereas in this example, there uh, there is no possible way to just make one bit flip and make 0, 0 and m minus 1 comma n minus 1 disconnected right and hence the answer here is false right so hope the problem statement is clear now how to solve this so first of all it's all about observation right so you can you can just uh, think about uh, how how many ways you can reach from 0, 0 to m minus 1 comma n minus 1 so firstly they have said that you cannot flip the bit at 0, 0 and m minus 1 comma n minus 1. So you cannot flip the top left or bottom right flip, a bottom right bit. They are always one, right? So it is given that they are always one and they will remain one. You can't change that because if, if you if you are allowed to change the first or the last bit, you can just change that and answer would be true always, right? So that's why they are saying that you can't change this or this. Uh, you can change any other things. Now, once we have to change any other thing, what all possible ways are there to reach from 0, 0 to m minus 1 comma n minus 1 like how how this ways looks like so there are like mostly three kind of ways right first way where you start from top right and you follow like both like there are multiple paths so okay so before they before all this let's say there is a case where there is only single path like by following some route there is single path to m minus 1 comma n minus 1 now, if that if there is a single path, the answer is always false because uh, are always true because you can always remove one uh, any you can always flip any of these bits in this path and make uh, the graph disconnected, right? But let's not talk about that case. Let's say there are multiple paths uh, possible from 0, 0 to uh, m minus one comma n minus one, right? Now. Even if there are multiple multiple paths possible, answer would not always be false if there are multiple paths. So notice about like no, notice this case. So here there are multiple paths, but they all follow some common prefix, right? So if they are following a common prefix, you can actually remove a uh, flip bits in the common path and this in this both this path will be disconnected like both this path will not be valid anymore right so that is one case where wherein like you have a common piece and you just uh, flip the bit and the path become disconnected now you can say that okay uh, there exists a path like this wherein they are completely separate but they just have one common bit in place right so even this even if, if this is the case the answer would still be true or because you can easily replace this particular uh, bit with zero and this both path would become impossible like the you this path would this path would become invalid because this can't cross this and similarly this path would also become invalid right so only way where you the answer is not possible is the way where there are completely independent paths. So notice these two paths, they are completely independent, right? So no matter which bit you flip in first path, 
second path would always be valid right because they are completely independent right so in a way answer would always be true answer will be false only when there are disconnected paths right now you can think of it like uh, so you have to just find if there is there are two path or at least two two disconnected path exists which crosses 0 comma 0 and m minus 1 comma n minus 1 right now there is a like this is a very easier problem because you can now what you can do is you can simply take any one path let's say you take this path and flip everything here you flip every bit here now because you have flipped every bit here you are sure that none of these so, so first of all like you will not flip the first bit like uh, and you flipped every bit after that right so because you have flipped every bit here none of these would be visited again right so once you flipped every bit here just do a just try to do under bfs or dfs and see if there exists a path from 0 comma 0 to m minus 1 comma n minus 1 right so what we have done first do a bfs or dfs and find out a path once you find a path just make everything zero now once everything is zero just try another round of bfs or dfs and see if there exists another path if there exists another path then answer is yes because it means there exist two disconnected paths the reason is you already made everything zero for the first path right now because everything is zero for the first path there is no way second path can share anything in this path and because that's that's not the case answer would always be possible right so notice in this particular case if you have uh, uh, reverted all the all the bits of a single path this bit would also be reverted and hence the you will not find this the, the second path right and same goes with here if you revert all the bits of a single path this bit would be reverted and because this bit will be, this bit will be reverted you will not find uh, another path like on specifically you will not find uh, this path if you have reverted all the bits of this path right so hope this makes sense so the solution is simple do a bfs find the path turn everything to zero and then do another bfs or dfs and find and see if there exist there still exist one path or not right now i would encourage you to code this yourself i'm not going to show you the code because the code is exactly similar to what we have just explained just simple bfs or dfs right now there exists an interesting problem like here we just need to find whether where whether there exist two independent paths or not right but let's say you have to count a number of distinct uh, number of uh, independent paths so currently we just find out okay whether, whether there exist independent paths or not but let's say we have to find out how many independent paths exists in the graph right so can you find that like it is again very simple observation i would encourage you to uh, think about it yourself and we can discuss the solution in the comment section right so that is a follow up question you can try that out try that out yourself and there is a second follow up like first first follow up is uh, find number of independent paths right now second uh, is find number of independent paths a find number of pairs of independent paths right so i would uh, encourage you to solve these two problems yourself and we can discuss the problem of a solution of these two solution uh, these two problems in the comment section below as always and if required i can make a follow up video to discuss one of these problems right so hope you like the video if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one thank you